Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some butter slime, which is also going to be fluffy. So what you're going to be needing is some glue, shaving cream, lotion, um, what's it called? A clay, a spoon, a knife, and maybe some scissors and some activator. So let's get started. So you need to start by pouring in some glue. I'm going to be making a really big Butter slime. Wait, I want a tiny bit more. So that's all I'm going to be adding. And now you need to add some shaving cream. And this will be making it fluffy. You need to shake it first. So I kind of want it super fluffy. So I'm going to do like a layer of shaving cream. I think that's enough. I don't want it too fluffy. But I think I already made it too fluffy. Now you will need to mix. Reminds me of cotton candy. If you like split this up into two and made it pink and blue, that would be really good for cotton candy. So now it's all mixed in, you'll want to add some lotion. And I want to add a lot because I want it really stretchy. So since it's big, it won't be like super stretchy, but at least it will be stretchier than it would. This will make it stretchier than it would be without it. Because the clay is already coloured, I'm going to be adding in uh, my activator, which is borax and water. But you can also use contact lens solution with baby powder. I just prefer to use this method. You have, you need to add a tiny bit at a time so you don't overactivate it. Because you want it to be a very good slime. Well, at least I do. Because I like my slimes to be as stretchy as they can. Before anything gets messy, I'm just going to take off my bracelet. So as you can see, it's starting to thicken up, but it's not properly ready. So we need to add some more. And soon, I'm going to be starting with my hands, because that's my favourite part. I want to start with my hands. I'm going in with at least one of my hands. So then I can... So it feels very fluffy and it definitely wasn't ready. But I don't really care. I just want it. I just love this part because it feels all weird and I love having holding stuff really weird. Like that's really gooey and messy. I need a lot more activator. I'm going to knead this all in. Okay guys, so as you... Sorry, I just... So as you can see, it's starting to thicken up, but it's still like really gooey. And, well, not the slime, type of slime that I like. Let me know down below, what do you like? Do you like stiff slime where it rips and you just squish it? Or do you guys like really stretchy slime where it's not sticky? Or do you like sticky slime where it's a bit sticky, uh, but it comes off your hands? Or do you just like sticky mess, sticky like this? I, I'm okay, cause I'll like, it would be super good if I had like a really stretchy slime and it's not sticky, but I kind of like sticky slime cause isn't that what slime's supposed to be? Or gooey and horrible, and gooey and what people would call horrible. Like my mum cringes at slime. Even if it's like, it's really unsticky, she cringes. Because some people just don't like texture, the texture of it. And in a minute I'm going to go in with two hands because this is almost ready. Okay guys, so my slime's all ready. And it's all plain white, so I'm going to be adding some blue. This is light blue and this is dark blue. I'm going to start by opening up the dark blue. Oh, 
This clay is super soft and it stinks. I hate the smell, but my dad loves the smell. It drives me crazy. Because he's like, oh, that. I was like, oh, it smells disgusting. And he's like, oh, I like the smell. So this is what the clay is like. It's super nice. I think we that. So let's add it in. And that's definitely not enough. So I've got some light blue. And if I need to, I'm going to add some white. To make this butter slime. I've been struggling to make butter slime for like ages. But and then we bought this clay from Home Bargains. And yeah, I'm gonna need the white. Because you kind of want the same amount as clay, same amount of, of clay. So here's the white one. It's just boring old white. But sometimes you've got to have a little bit, little bit of white. So now you've got to like kind of knead it in till it's all fully mixed in. So I'll be back when it's fully mixed in. Okay guys, um, so it hasn't really mixed in. It seems a lot darker on camera than it is. It's not mixing in as much, but it looks more mixed in on camera. So we're going to test out if it's properly butter slime. So we need a knife and then, can I spread it? But I'm, I'm kind of worried to like ruin this colour. But I can I think I'm gonna add some green. But before I fully decide, let's have a look at this colour. So I think I'm gonna add some of this green. On camera it seems really, really dark. But it's actually pretty light. It's like kind of like a light green. This is really stretchy. I'm just no. I'm just gonna plop it in. I don't know what colour it's gonna make. Hopefully, it remind it's gonna remind me of like a mermaid. I hope it makes a mermaid colour because I really want a mermaid butter slime. But I've got so much blue that I don't think that's going to happen. I was kind of hoping it would work out better than it is, but I never know. I don't... Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. But I think if I just rip off a tiny part of it, it's going to work, so... Let me take off this much. Let's put it there. Let's see if it spreads. Okay, it doesn't really spread. It feels really cool though. <laughs> but I'm just going to show you some of my other butter slimes that I've made. Wait, actually, no, I'm not going to show you. Do you guys want to see a slime collection video? Because I've got quite a few slimes. I've got different types of slimes. Let me know down below. And let me know down below if you want to see a squishy collection. It's kind of tinting it green. Can you kind of see? It's a lot brighter than it is on camera. <gasps> it's reminding me of a mermaid. It's not on camera because it's not picking up how bright it is. But it's super bright. It's giving me a vibes of a mermaid. Okay, it doesn't spread as much as I hoped. It hasn't turned out as much as I hoped. But I've still got this really cool colour. Okay, imagine this is a really bright slime. Oh my god, I love this. This gives me mermaid vibes, everyone. Let's see if it spreads now. Let me know down below if you want to see, see a slime collection. Let me know down below if you want to see a squishy collection. Let me know down below what video you want to see me do give this video a big like subscribe and see you all later wait before do you want to see me make jelly cube slime okay bye